What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is the setup. American Legion Boxing Stadium, okay. This ought to be interesting. You like to fight game Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. <laughs> Your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up and coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Getting whopped, bro. Looks like you lost 50 bucks, bro. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Alan. You get out here right now. Step back. LAPD. What the heck is happening here? What's what do we thrust on? ourselves the into? The is jam the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh, so they were fixing the odds, huh? Fixing the, the fight. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Pin board, second from the end. This thing right here? A Hammond? Uh-oh. Harry, 18 to 1, 22 to 1, 19 to 1. Well, it's a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Hmm. So he was supposed to fix this fight, and now he's going to have a ton of people after him upset that he didn't follow through with fixing it. Looks like we've got something here, just a boxing glove that shouldn't mean anything. This doesn't pertain to the case. Looks like we've got a newspaper over here. You can watch this. I'm always down to watch these. They're interesting. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. Yep. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. 
It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. It's not what he means. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. <laughs> housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties. And your investment will benefit those that you care for most. I don't like this guy. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, doctor. I wish we would have found all of these, these newspapers. I know we haven't checked them all out, but uh, it's it's definitely, definitely interesting. That's that's without a doubt. All right, let me let me quickly. Give this a once over. We've got a shower here. We've got toilets. Yeah, dude, I, I, I think we're good. I think we want to get out of here. I think we want to go. Uh... You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. <laughs> Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Way to be, Phelps. The Greyhound. He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. <laughs> I love it. I love that Phelps is such a stand-up guy. He's got morals. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. All right. So we're gonna hit up R and I here. We're gonna get a uh, get some details on this give me R &I. phone number or whatever was was written at the bottom of that paper in his now? locker. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number: A L three four five. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar. 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. A hotel. Thanks. I mean, it's a start. You know the place? The flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Ah, so it's kind of a sketchy hotel then. Probation. If that's what a flop house means. I'm not sure what a flop house is, but... Quarter a night sounds like a uh, pretty a pretty cheap you place to stay. You seem to have a stay. pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's change up our, uh, let's change up our, our, what's it called? Our clothes. Can we do that? Uh, I think we might have to be it's on the ground. for his illegal activities. It is that. But he does carry some very sharp suits. Might have to check that out. All right. This is Hotel El Mar at 9.11 p.m. It doesn't look too bad. Cheap rates, hot water. I mean, it's not the fanciest place in the world, but it doesn't look bad. Can't we... Let me see if I could change our... Yeah, outfits. Here we go. Uh, so we've got Sunset Strip, the Broderick, the Sharpshooter. Oh, these are all the same ones that we had before. I thought we were gonna have some new ones. All right, I guess I guess we'll leave it the same. Kind of fits with our our vice vice profile here. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the that tone. of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. 
Mm. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. So he probably used a fake name. Has socks in it. Okay. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. What do you mean, prominent Tommies? Should be Kenny, Veronica Lake, Joan Caulfield. I'm looking for a Tommy? Harpo Marx, Bob Hope, Lena Turner, Artie Shaw. I don't see any, I don't see any Tommies here. What is a Tommy? Tommy's a masculine name given of English origin. Occasionally a nickname shortened of Thomas, sometimes used as the feminine form. Extremely loving person. University of St. Thomas mascot. Um, okay. I'm not, uh... Oh, a British, a British private soldier? Oh, okay. So let's, um... Sure, see, sir, okay. Shirley Temple. We're looking for... Uh, Winston Churchill. That, that'll do it right there. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. Got him! Checked in at 3.30, he hasn't checked out yet. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Okay. Well, let's go check this out. What was it, 207, 307? I can't remember, I think it was 207. Yeah, the doorknob's gold. Doors unlocked. Nobody's in here. Looks like we've got some overturned trash like here. here. Western Union. El Elvira Hammond. Must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son home of a soon, your boy done dance. good from Albert. So he he's trying to take all the money and he's he's just gonna run with it. Got a sink over here with his mouth guard. Definitely on the right trail. To me. See what's over here. Nothing really. It's a disgusting place, bro. Got some heart-shaped box of chocolates. Kind of an interesting thing. What is this? Matinee yes, movie. Writer has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. All right. So we know he went to a movie. Might be able to go check that out. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Maybe he just likes chocolate, I don't know. So we got that. Ashtray, nothing too crazy. What is this here? Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah, Instaheat, Parnell's Soup Company. This is great, dude. This is actually like a legit article too. I don't know if we're gonna have to read through this. Modern living with a touch of natural style. Oh, what is this? Competition entry form, Candy Edwards. This is the chick he had Candy over. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Candy Where's Edwards, Candy? and we've got an address. Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Looks like they were smoking together. Gives us an angle if he has a real love interest. Ah, oh, I got some lipstick on the cigarettes. Looks like we might have one more thing over here. 200 times 18. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. So he's been planning this out. He was planning on running. He's, he's taking advantage of this. All right. Is that it? Sounds like the music has stopped, which means we're good to go. So let's let's go see who this candy girl is. Is he trying to run run away with her back to England or something? Kind of feels like it. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Sounds good to me. Sop in the whip and let's head out. Candy Edwards' address. You gonna? You gonna get in here, bro? <laughs> All right then. Glad to see that you're you're moving quickly today, bud. We're off. So you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. <laughs> 
Yeah, this guy thought he was smart. Honestly, he should have just bet on himself losing. Like, why go through all this? You could have made more money and not had people coming after you to try to kill you. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. So her address is that she lives in a motel? Classy lady. That's for sure. We need to know which room is Candy's. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take mm. the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. Oh, shit. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Did somebody get here before us? Or is she just... Like he's gone and fucked both there, of us help. and you know where he's hiding. Is now, she just where... sleeping around? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's on, you sleazy wait. mother sucker! This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Give me this grapple. Shoot. Beautiful. He's down. Got a couple of hits on us, but we got him back. Did he <laughs> he knocked her the F out? I wanna inspect him for now. But breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Will do. Checked his face. Let me check his his hands. Hopefully he doesn't wake up anytime soon, because he was definitely not happy to see us. Seems like with this this suit jacket, he might have some pockets we can check too. See if we can check. Check these pockets. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Interesting. What about his, his right side jacket pocket? George Ray Wallace. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we got that. Can I open this drawer? That, that handle on the drawer is gold. Can't go in the bathroom. Looks like she was packing up She's to go town. somewhere. Probably with our, our prize fighter here. Just keep stepping over this guy. What is this? Looks like we've got some nail polish. We've got a glasses case. Incidental. Nail supplies, uh, some, some thing for women. I don't know. What is this, lipstick? This isn't what we're looking for. I don't even know what I'm looking at, bro. Might as well be speaking another, another language. Uh-oh. LA to Akron, Ohio. One way. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Huh. And then onward line. Iskanya sails from New York. She was trying to make it across the pond, wasn't she? She's up. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I hmm. haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're, you're lying. You, you were, we have you you're in the lying, hotel room with you him. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Unless he was the one filling out your information on that magazine coupon. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. <laughs> what an Look, idiot. Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. <laughs> Interesting. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? You're lying again. They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? 
What about the, um... Oh, shoot. Yeah, this was in the hotel room as well. So, I think, she, did she write this? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. No, he did. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. Hmm. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. You're lying again. Wait, do we... Does the... Yeah, the es Escania. You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off at the mouth? Prove I know where he is. What about the, uh, the Escania, Escania ticket? I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, I got that Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. How are we going to get her to tell us? I hope things work out for you. Thank Maybe you. Maybe not. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. That's actually not a, not a bad idea. She knows more than she's leading on. Uh-oh, here she comes. The tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Oh, we're going to be tailing her on foot. All right. We just go ahead and blend in real quick. Remain hidden in plain sight. You can't be spotted when you're incognito. So she's got her suitcase there, full of all of her belongings. She's obviously going somewhere in a hurry. See if we can track her down here. Oh yeah, she's she's being all shifty, looking behind her and stuff. Here we go. Come on, Phelps. Get up close. Get behind the wall. Get on the wall. Beautiful. Up to the truck. She doesn't suspect a thing, baby. Move her to that cart. She is definitely spooked. There's no doubt about that. Okay, look for newspapers, telephones, shoe shine stands, or window displays to keep moving forward. I'm going to let her go for a minute. We could potentially get to that shoe shine stand. Hey! Watch out, bro. Going incognito. Just get my shoes shine, no big deal. I don't actually want anything done to me, sir. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. We're fine. We got time, we got time, we got time. Stay out of sight here. We're gonna be fine. Can we hop this fence? Nice. Looks like there's a little uh, little bus bench there we could potentially sit on. I was gonna try to hide behind that, but we can't get down. Whew. Okay, so she's walking this way. She certainly has a long way to go, huh? Get up behind the statue. We're good. She's kind of walking in a circle, is she not? And it looks like uh, looks like Roy's got the car up here on the left. Get out, 
Mr. President. She's crossing the street here. Going by that red house. Don't cause any accidents or anything. I feel like she'd probably notice that. Somebody started like honking or yelling at us or something like that. Wow, that was close, dude. <laughs> if I was one of these guys, I'd be so weirded out by this right now. Because of that reason, I kind of want to go hide next to them. She didn't see us, we're good. Looks like she's going to one of these sketchy apartments or something over here. I've seen better spots to hide, Phelps. Could kind of get down a bit. Move in. At risk losing the trail. Good thing we got this third person angle we can see around corners without actually being within eye shot. Is that a word? Eye shot? Move forward to this gardening box or whatever it is. Bro, this is crazy. How far are we going to follow this chick? She's going down to the sketchy alleyway by herself with a giant red suitcase. Not questionable at all. I hope these pallets count. She's gonna go down here and take a ride, isn't she? Yep. Go, 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 Phelps! Don't overshoot the corner. Ooh, look at this thrifty liquor! It's gonna be her, uh... Her final destination. <laughs> Looks like Roy's on the case. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. All right. Well, let's go in there and, uh, and have a look around, shall we? Catch her in the act. That's the guy. I heard he's a blonde woman just came in here. Oh, there's an oxymoron. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. Oh, How no. much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Wrote something on a notepad. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Ah, uh, we're going to be able to see the impression to see what she wrote on the paper behind it. Looks like it's an address. Drugstore at 1487 War. Examiner Drugstore. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. All right. Let's go hop in the, the car. Let's go, baby. She's going around collecting that cash, huh? West Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGP Elkmere. Perfect. That lines up with what we, uh... Hammond backed himself What we win. just found. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is... Is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? That is a good question. I think they're working together. I think she still loves him. I mean, obviously they were together in the hotel room and stuff. This is something they had plans. They were gonna collect all this money and then they were gonna run off to England and, and never be seen again. So 
this should be uh this should be interesting. Where's our actual thing? Yeah, the examiner drugstore. 5:10 p.m. See what we can find in here. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. Mm. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Well, sounds like we should, uh, we should call that cab company. The Yellow Cab Company of Los Angeles. Yellow Cab. We need to get after her fast. Can we just hit the hit the line here? Find out who they sent out after. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. 179. That's our, our number. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. <laughs> Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. <laughs> Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue. Just south of Hollywood Boulevard. That's the next one on our list. All right. So we've got a, a location that we want to go to, and then cab 179 is the cab that she's going to be in. Hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can find her. So let's take a look at our locations. Ray's Bookmakers. Go ahead and set that up, and off we go. Got a pretty crazy intersection here, but we're good. Let's go catch this broad. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. Watch out, people. Official LAPD business. Get out of my way. So yeah, these two are definitely working together. They're cleaning out every spot in town, then they're gonna jump town, because they knew people would be upset going back on his word like this. Tuxedo 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's not the cab we're looking for, is it? That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in really? the Really? Don't get too close. She must be inside. It's not the right number, though. Oh. There she is. All right. We got her. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. All right. So we're going to stay very inconspicuous here. Don't want them to expect anything. Got to drive safe and smart. Something that you guys know I am known for doing on this uh, this series. Maybe the number on the side. I think that might have been the phone number. Make? That's probably it. One, two, three, four probably isn't the cab number. Just going to slowly follow here taking a left up there problem is you can't get too close but you also can't stay Damn too far himself being this sure he was gonna win <laughs> that is a big part of the plan if he wouldn't have won I mean I guess he'd be all right he just would have lost a lot of money he wouldn't have a bunch of people try to kill him though Two are definitely, uh, definitely in on it together. Be careful. We're getting pretty close, Trev. We're taking a left there. All right, just kind of cool it for a minute. Whoa! Would be a bad time to forget how to drive. I mean, yes, I cut them off, but to be oh shoot, they went left. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I cut them off, but to be fair. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That accident could have been avoided. They kind of accelerated right into us. All right, let's let a couple of cars get in between us and her. If 
very odd like stops in the middle of the street and stuff. I don't want to get too close. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. Chase him down. You're fine. Shit. Better drop back, Cole. She's stopping up there. What's happening? Pull off to the side so they don't inside. suspect anything. Looks like she's going inside. To the interstate bus depot. She's skipping town. She's leaving. She got the money and she's heading out. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Shh. Where's she going? Just taking a look at the departures. I probably could have sat down with that newspaper over on that chair. Don't come this way. Don't come this way, please. Nope, we're good. Where is she going? The broad has socks in it, Brazil. I'm out of here. Whoa! Oh my god, she got shot! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he, he said, Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, uh, car? They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Hammond getting killed her? As the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. What a That's savage, how... bro. I told you that cocksucker was a crook. He took the money and killed her. <laughs> promised her, like got her in on the deal, promised her that, that everything was going to be good and then killed her. There's something for us to search. Here's, oh, here's the murder weapon. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. One shot fired. That's all it took. Right in the middle of the chest. Looks like we've got our purse here as well. I swear half this game has been digging through women's purses. The Egyptian, Egyptian theater. theater. I feel like they aren't going to see movies there. There's there's gotta be there's gotta be something else going on. So, what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Okay. Well. Whole place flooded out. That's sad. I was gonna say, this was gonna be the first... One of the first cases where we weren't dealing with dead people. And chasing down a, a murderer. Instead, we were chasing down somebody living, but nope. That, uh, that's not the case. All right. So we knew this, we know this theater has something to do with it. We're not exactly sure. Was that like a meeting place? Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here. Like obviously he's, he's, so he shot his girl. He got this money. He screwed over a bunch of people and now he's leaving town. So we got to figure out, uh, poor girl where he is. He didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over me. Ooh. A crashed car with an open door here, huh? Somebody got out in a hurry. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King. Car 11 King. Come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. Oh, he stabbed her. Carlo. He said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. Carlo, the guy with the you poke think he got thing. The money too? Come on, Roy. 
We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. He's the one that shot her. Or not shot her, stabbed her, I'm sorry. She was shooting in self-defense. She got stabbed. Obviously, he's been, been chasing them down through this. You grew up with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and I intend to keep on living. Oh, shoot. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck, and Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. Hmm. Not if we have anything to do with it. So it sounds like the, the fighter is innocent in all this. All he wanted to do was win the fight. He didn't do any betting or anything. He knew that his girlfriend did the betting slips, but... I mean, that's not on him. We're we gonna shoot this dude or what? Put down your weapon. Now Make we're gonna have to shoot mistake, him. Our Somehow he got away. Okay. Uh, oh shoot, we got guys down here too. Come on. And two. Well, that's two Where down. You? You limey cocksucker. We're gonna get up top. We got any more in here? Looks like we might be able to use the stairs here. Got him! I was gonna say this is the balcony he was on. It looked like he went upstairs, but I guess he went downstairs. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. What does he that have? Son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. I mean, he didn't really do anything wrong, though. Like, morally. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. My boy, back okay. me up. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. I mean, technically, he was morally corrupt because he gave these people his word and then he went back on it. But at the same time, he was morally good because he wasn't throwing the fight and hurting people, you know what I mean? It's kind of an interesting one. I liked it, I had a little bit of shooting in there. Love triangle happening, some boxing and stuff. That was uh, that was pretty interesting. I'm glad we were able to get to the bottom of it and our boy was able to run free. So uh, there you go, Ooh, the Naked City is coming up next. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Drop a like if you guys are excited for it and uh, maybe I'll upload it early. Catch you all later, peace out.